Hey, what's up, guys? So today, May 25th, I'm looking at the news on TMZ, and I decided to check out some of the bullshit that they are publishing, right? So there's this whole thing about them uh, lynching the governor or something, Andy Beshear, for, you know, Second Amendment Kentucky rally, something to do with coronavirus and guns, and you got this character, Pastor Cliff Christman, and so let's just get right into this, right? So, the the article says, you know, Kentucky governor hung in effigy, right? So just check out the numbers, 131, right? The 32nd prime number, 32 date numerology, right? It's also 49. So I often on this channel explain date numerologies and how I think they're writing these stories a day or two in advance with the code of letters and numbers known as gematria. So in this language of coding uh, numbers into letters, words, and phrases, you know, I pick out certain things, you know, sometimes they're quotes from the article and then there's other things, just, you know, language that they use in the article that's interesting. So I, I look into it. So hung 50, right? You got the 50 date numerology. Today is when the story came out. So, or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. I think it was today, but I think they write it yesterday. You got 58. Hung is 58. So Andy Besh here, right? His last name's 58. Hmm. Effigy, 58. Hmm. 23. Hung, 23. Hmm. A Second Amendment Kentucky rally, right? 139, the 34th prime, 34 date numerology. 131, when you take away the A, you just put Second Amendment, Kentucky Rally, 131, right? Which is the 32nd prime number. So there is a 32 date numerology. 109, 29th prime number. And again, you know, I think they're writing these stories a day in advance. Sometimes two days. Memorial Day. Memorial Day weekend. 303. Hmm. Looks a lot like 33. Around 100 people swarmed the governor's mansion. Hmm. That's interesting because 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 is 100. Gun-toting fanatics. This is the language that they use in the article. So, gun-toting fanatics. I don't think it's right here, but... Uh, it's there if you read the TMZ article. Anyways, that's 200. Hmm, five times two times five times two times two. Hmm, 200. Hmm, 74. That's pretty interesting. That's a reflection of 47. 97 is the 25th prime. We get the story today on the 25th. There's a lot. There's a lot. So, his first name is uh, 97 Andrew. So, you know, 97 for gun-toting fanatics, 97 for Andrew. You got the 29, you got the 34. Today has a 34 date numerology. Hmm. Yesterday had the 29 date numerology. Hmm. What it really means to be free. Hmm. What does that equal? 141. Hmm. Oh, that's not the point I wanted to make. Okay, you know what point I did want to make, though, was one, what it really means to be free is 111. And the story says, co you know, it's COVID restrictions, 111. Now, what's also interesting is this, the 222. Here's another 222 for you guys. COVID's in fire. Fires equals 222. Like the pier, you know, that burned in California. I think it was pier 45. COVID restrictions is 222. <laughs> Pastor Cliff Kreisman, hmm, 121, kind of like coronavirus outbreak. This whole story is around, you know, the coronavirus and the Second Amendment, and it's just a bunch of bullshit. His name also equals 310, which can look like 31. Pastor is 89, 26, 37, virus. Same overlaps in three of the four base ciphers. 89, 141, what it really means to be free, 141, Cliff Christman, 141, 
Hmm, 69. You know, I suspect they write it a day in advance, so 69 date numerology from May 24th. You got Cliff Christman's, which equals 84. Memorial Day weekend's 84. This whole quote from the article is 83. Well, 803. 80, but 803 looks like 83, which is the 23rd prime. And again, you know, the language that they use in the beginning of the article. They hung, they hung like a dummy, like a mannequin or something, and put his face on there. So you got the 23s. You know, and the article goes on to saying there, these people, uh, this has been one of the biggest shams in world history. Grown men have been hiding in homes, nearly wetting their pants over an invisible enemy that nobody sees. Where is it at? Let it come out and face us. So I broke it down, basically. So biggest shams, you know, 69, 69 date numerology. Invisible enemy that nobody sees, 421, which is the 82nd prime number. Second Amendment rallies 82. Sorry if I'm going fast. I'm trying to blast through this because there's two other stories that I want to show you. So invisible enemy that nobody sees. I don't know what other point I was trying to make. Anyways, <laughs> civil war. They use this wording, uh, you know, right there, civil war. So that's interesting. 97, the 25th prime. Today's the 25th. 43 is the 14th prime. And there's also a 14 date numerology today. So there's that part. Civil War is 56, and it's all over what? The coronavirus, 56. So, and also today has a 70 date numerology, I believe. Yep, today does have a 70 date numerology. Coronavirus is 70. So that was interesting, right? And then they use this uh, other you know, wording, symbolic lynching. I found it interesting. 209 looks like 29. You got the 83. And you got the 25. The 250 looks like 25. Today's the 25th. 83 is the 23rd prime. 209 is the 29th prime. So they wrote it yesterday. They uh, basically published it today with the 23 and the 25. And the 23 comes into play because, you know, hung and effigy equal 23. If you are paying attention, truth seeker. But anyways, yeah. So, there's that part. So a lot of people are getting pissed off. And they're uh, symbolically lynching their governors, apparently. So, I decided to take it a step further and measure from his birthday to... from his birthday to today's news, which is two is 25 weeks, three days. Now, that's a pretty cool number because it's the 22nd triangular number, 253. And again, you know, today leaves 220 days left in the year. Measuring from his last birthday to today's news, when you just use days, is 179 days. That's the 41st prime. 41 is the 13th prime, 13 date numerology for yesterday, the 24th, and then you got, you know, when you include the end date, you get six months, five days, and that's interesting because pandemic, so all these numbers sort of sync up, you got 43, the 14th prime, you know, 151, I think that's the 35th prime. So yeah, this is what they did, they hung a dummy up, and uh, basically, you know, Kentucky governor, seven, so this whole quote equals 739, which is the 131st prime, 131 is the 32nd prime, 32 date numerology, you know, Kentucky governor Andrew Bashir, 347, which is the 69th prime, again, I suspect they're writing these stories a day in advance, so... You know, these numbers just don't pop up randomly. 157, the 37th prime, it's about a virus. Andrew is 34, 34 date numerology. 29, like yesterday's date numerology. 97 is the 25th prime, like today's date. Bashir at 31. Yesterday had a 31 date numerology. Again, Bashir is 131, the 32nd prime, blah, blah, blah. 41, the 13th prime. 
So these two dates, May 24th and today, May 25th, I have a perfect date in numerology. So 302 looks like 32. So the way they word the article. And 733 is the 130th prime. And again, you know, you don't have to really count zeros. The key digits in 130 are 1 and 3. So there it is. And then you got the 200 again. Gun owners don't like COVID restrictions. You know, 200. <laughs> Crazy. 470. Looks like 47, which is the 15th prime number. Yesterday had the 15 date numerology. 169. 13. Well, square root of 13. 13. And I think that's it for this particular one. Oh, this is the screenshot. Okay. Took a screenshot. Oh. All right. So that's the end of that story. So that's the Kentucky governor, right? Let me close this down. Now, there's another story about Memorial Day weekend shooting in Chicago. So, you can read the stories. I think. Hold on. Well, at the end of the presentation, I'm at the end. Hold on. So this is the story. So, I mean, it's a really long story, and there's a lot of numbers here. So I'm gonna just try to like blast through this. But uh, here's here's the essentials, pretty much. So Chicago, Illinois, 145, right? And today has the 145. Well, yesterday had the 145 date uh day of the year. So this happened over the span of the weekend, all these shootings. So, Chicago, Illinois, 89, 11, and 24, 24 date, you know. Um, this one might be a little tough to follow, so I apologize, but it is. It's all over the place. 79, Chicago, Illinois, or when you spell it like how you would send it on a stamp or whatever, to the 22nd prime, you know, 22. So these stories happened over the course of Memorial Day weekend. If you read the story, it says it started on Friday and it ends, you know, it ends Tuesday morning or, you know, whatever. But there's always something to see here. So, you know, you got the 34. We just talked about 34 date numerology. But this is what I think is going on here. Now, I could be wrong. So, you know, don't take my word for it. Just, you know, do your own research. But. You know, 52, 52 date numerology for today, the 25th when the story was published, 56 wounded. That's pretty interesting because Chicago, Illinois is 56. Now, this is 56 wounded in 2017. No, in 2016, six people were killed and 56 wounded. But it's like this is why, this is why they picked these numbers. So 43 others were wounded. You know, that's interesting because, you know, Chicago, Illinois, or ILL, 191, which is the 43rd prime, the 14th, 43 is the 14th prime number, and, you know, today, story broke today on the 14 date numerology. So when you spell it out like this, Memorial Day weekend shooting leaves 9 dead, 36 injured, 467, which is the 91st prime, and you got 91, which is the 13th triangular number, and, you know... You got a 13 date numerology for yesterday. Now, they were saying the most fatal shooting happened on Sunday. So, a lot of this ties into, uh, you know, Sunday. But you got this whole quote that equals 73 or 730. 730 looks like 73, which is the 21st prime. Look, this kid's dead at 21. It tells you, you know, gives you some, like, pointers here. Humboldt Park, Northwest Side. So uh, that's 253 as well, 22nd prime, I mean a triangular, and you got the 22 date numerology for Friday. Now I don't know if, you know, all these numbers are scattered, so this this story might, you know, eh, it's hard to really explain, but if you know, you know, 103, the 27th prime. You know, if Memorial Day weekend started on, you know, the 22nd, you know, it, it makes sense, you know. So, 
Friday, right? Uh, maybe it starts Thursday night. 141. That's interesting because Memorial Day weekend shootings equal 141. And again, you know, I went back a day. Typically, this would be the 141st day of the year. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Take it for what it's worth. Chicago equals 35. They published the time at about 3.05 p.m. Hmm. When you spell it like this, letters and numbers, you get 220. This is interesting because they reported it today on the two, uh, the day that leaves 220 days left in the year. And then the rest of this presentation is just like stuff that I just found interesting. So you got, uh, when you take off the number calculation, you get this interesting thing right here, 50 and 202. So we've seen the 22, but look at 50 date numerology, nine dead, 43, the 14th prime, 14 date numerology. Sorry if I'm going fast, but this stuff's so repetitive to me that, you know, 36 injured, 233, 13 and 51, 13 date numerology. You know, 13 plus 51 is 64. Kill equals 64. But look, 13 and 51. So I found that interesting. 89, got the 11 and the 24. 24. Was the 24th was supposed to be the deadliest shooting. Where I think the kid got shot in the face, and the head or something. 199, the 46th prime. You know, 46 is a sacrifice number. There's a lot of things that equal 46, but... Man, you know, they're making it seem like, you know, like this stuff is just happening organically. 36 injured, 100, 100 date numerology today when you use the multiplication equation. Humboldt Park, that's 51. Yesterday, you know, 51 date numerology for when he got shot. Northwest side, 73, 179, which is the 41st prime. 41's the 13th prime. His name, they gave us a name. Dion, Dariante Adams, 253, and 91. So, 253. I forgot where I seen the 253. I don't know if my screenshot's loaded right, but 91's the 13th uh, triangular number, I believe, right? 53 is the 16th prime number, 16 date numerology, 253, Memorial Day weekend shooting, the whole quote equals 253, his name equals 253, and both reverse ciphers, reverse ordinal, and then the reverse ordinal with the rules of numerology, so that's what I got for that, as far as that goes, and... This one right here is pretty funny. The white woman who's accusing the black guy in the uh, park. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't mean to pick on these guys. All, all news media is fake, but TMZ, I, I get a kick out of them. So look at this, right? <laughs> this this lady, Karen, says, you know, oh, you know, this black man is uh, filming me. It's, a, it's about this lady who's, like, pulling her dog or something. But I, I just found it funny, like, she got a mask on, event 201, William Henry Gates equals 201, ultimate Karen's 201, look at this, ultimate Karen and black man, 51, hmm, interesting, Karen's 32, 32 date numerology, we've seen the 22, we'll get back to all this. Central Park Karen, 69, so I, I suspect they're writing these stories a day before. Because today is the 25th, which is 70 date numerology. And it's interesting because it's a whole thing with the mask, the coronavirus. So, coronavirus equals 70. Huh? Anyways, of course, they got to stick in the 47 and the 70, Central Park 70, 47, the 15th prime. 
So yesterday had a four or fifteen day numerology, the twenty fourth, and then today has the seventy. This whole quote, Central Park Karen, white woman calls cops on black man, acts like he's attacking her. See that four oh two? Well, this is why four oh two is important, because it looks like forty two and I don't know if I screenshotted it. But there's an awful lot of words. There it is. There's a lot of bad words that are associated with 42 and 59. February is Black History Month. It ends on the 59th day of the year. And then that's why all this, all these words, Negro, Slave, Blues, Rasta, all that stuff has, you know, even this word, Cotton Picker, 59. And then you got all the 42s, Plantation, the N-words, 42, Tuskegee's, 42. Slavery's 42, bus, not to mention there's other ones, Jackie, I think um, Malcolm, no, I don't know if it's Martin, I don't know, but anyways, I don't want to get too far ahead of the presentation, so, acts like he's attacking, now, this is the language TMZ uses, 229 is the 50th prime, 50 date numerology, you know, they say uh, in quotations, Threatening, 59, the 17th prime. But also, there's the 59. That's why it's important. You know? So, that is why it's important. 204, huh? Yep. Looks like 24. So, I think they're writing these stories a day in advance, to be honest. That's just my opinion. But Karen's 49. You know? The 24th has the 49 date numerology. And. And. Let's see. Threatening. Um, he. Oh, this is what it says. He's threatening my life. <laughs> 317. A white woman calls cops on black man is 317. How interesting, huh? How interesting. And then they say in the article, she's uh, Karen-ing. 79, the 22nd prime. 43, the 14th prime. 137, the 33rd prime. 47, the 15th prime. Hmm. Karen's 22. Karen-ing is 43. Hmm, 43 is the 14th prime, 137 is the 33rd prime, yesterday had the 33 date numerology, 47 is the 15th prime, like I just said, yesterday had the 15 date numerology, so you see all these numbers come together, so it happened Monday morning, I decided to say Monday morning, 69, right, so they wrote it just in time for Monday morning, probably really happened Sunday, or was contrived Sunday. Because there's no way all this is just matching up randomly. So that whole quote. Tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. That equals 520. 52. Right? But also 241 is the 53rd prime. Which is the 16th prime in 16 to 8 numerology. There's the 52, though. 520 looks like 52. So, I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. 29, 290. You know, yesterday had a 29 date numerology. African American man, 144. Well, that's interesting because if it wasn't a leap year, yesterday would have been the 144th day of the year. So. And then when you put a African-American man, it's 145, which is perfect for yesterday. So, so what are the odds? What are the odds? He's threatening my life. The 48th prime. And they say that they came around 8 a.m. That equals 48. When you add the numbers, 13. We've seen the 13. Imminent danger. Hmm. 79, 22nd prime. Karen's 22. Possible assault, 47, hmm, 191, the 43rd prime, uh. 43 is the 14th prime, today has the 14 date numerology, 
It also, that quote also equals 241, which is the 53rd prime again. So, 106 looks like 16. He's threatening my life. A possible assault's 106. He's threatening my life's 106. So, all these things are woven together like a web, in my opinion. You know, and the guy was apparently filming her dragging and choking her dog. So, dragging, choking her dog. Hmm, 97, the 25th prime, like today is the 25th of the month. 191 again, the 43rd prime. So, 97, the 25th prime. But look, 191, right? So, dragging slash choking her dog is 191. And a possible assault is 191. So, that's all I got for you guys. That's the whole video. Those are the three stories that I just, you know, I know they're bullshit. So one time for the bullshit button. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's more shit. And uh, when I find some more interesting, silly things, I will come back and present them.